Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> so um, I made a post the other day about gifting yourself. And it, it was about, um, you know, one of the things that I do with questions. So I'm an access consciousness certified facilitator. And one of the things that we use as a huge tool and is um, asking questions. And so I use questions with myself and with my clients to change things. So when I find anything in my own life that I start to sort of uh, rub up against, you know those things where all of a sudden you're like, oh, something here could change. Something here could change, right? When you rub up against that thing. Then I use questions then to change it or at least become aware of what that thing is. What am I rubbing up against here? What would I actually like to change? And so one of the things that I started to realize was that when I think in the past, for instance, when I've thought about winning the lottery or something like that, having, you know, just having more money than I even knew what to do with, a few of the things that I think about, one of them, of course, is like creating businesses, saving the world, you know, <laughs> like giving things away, like getting a different house, you know, all the stuff that people normally think about. But one of the other things that I think about is gifting others just because it's fun for me, not because it's right, not because there's anything to get out of it, just because the act of really thinking about what other people would like and enjoy and what would create something different in their world would open some possibility for them maybe that they've never had before brings me so much joy that it's fun to think about and fun to do anytime I get a chance. So I started looking at if I treat myself the same way, if, if when I look at using the money for me, if it's different and it is different. So when I look at what I personally would do with the money after doing all the other fun things that I want to do and having so much fun gifting others, all of a sudden, instead of me looking at what would do that, what would delight me, what would excite me, what would um, open my world up in a way that I had never considered, instead of doing that, it's almost like I go on a budget. And so now all of a sudden everything is getting budgeted down. So I was like, well, I would give myself $50,000 to do this with the house and I would give myself this amount of money. I was like, wait a minute. And then when I really looked at what the energy was of using, um, you know, like budgeting everything, the energy of receiving the money stopped. It was not expansive. All of a sudden it wasn't fun. All, the fu all of a sudden it didn't feel like more energy was growing in my body and in my life. It felt like now all of a sudden the, the slow step down to no energy moving had begun. And in that moment when I recognized that, I asked a question to change it. And the question I asked myself was, <laughs> If I was treating myself and gifting myself the way that I get excited about gifting others, what, what would I gift myself? And when I look at things from that point of view, when I'm buying gifts for other people, or if I'm, um, for instance, getting a trip for someone else or something, one of the things that I love doing is looking at, well, I know what they would be willing to spend money on themselves what if I gave them something that they weren't willing to spend the money on, but that would bring them great joy? And so I started looking at myself. When I went to the energy of budgeting, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with budgeting, but for this exercise, budgeting doesn't work. So um, when I went to the energy of budgeting, what it was is all of a sudden I was trying to get right the amount of money I was spending. I was putting everything on the scale of is it worth it? Is it not worth it? That's the energy that actually kills creation. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? That's really different than going, what would change my world? What would, what would be so much fun that I met, would, I would definitely do the upgrade for a friend because that would be fun. Um, my sister and uh, her son, my nephew, were coming into town and 
you know, she said, well, I think that time of day is gonna be really bad traffic for you to come get us. How about we just take a car? And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. I would love that. I would love not being in traffic and um, it doesn't help you for me to be in traffic. So, but let me get the car. And so I, I looked at cars and then I thought, well, you know what? I bet it's not even that much of a difference between getting a, a nice car service to pick them up or getting a limo. <laughs> And I thought my ne about my nephew, and I didn't think that he had been in a, in a limo yet, and thought about how much fun it is to have a limo come pick you up, how outside of your normal everyday reality that is, and how much fun it would be to have someone, you know, in their special little hat there with their name picking them up at the airport. Would I have done that for myself? Most likely not. Some days, yeah, but most likely not like oh what's it worth what's the e what's the easy fast way to get there you know like is Lyft cheaper is uber cheaper is it better to take a cab seat a uh, cab is it better to hop on the train is it better to get a car service depending on where i am in the world you know what do i need to do do you get the difference between that one of them is like oh okay i'm gonna get this person this thing and it's gonna light up their entire world or you know what what fits this like smaller box that I have where it's not about the joy it's just about the pragmatic part of it hello so um so that's where that question came from if you look further up on the page where you see the um the question if you were the richest person in the world in five years from now and you could gift yourself anything now what would it be so that question came out of knowing that for me gifting is really different than um, than planning for something. And what I would get for others was different than for me. And, and so it was really about changing my point of view about who I am to myself. Am I worth it to myself to create a life that delights me? And if so, then I've got to think about what I'm creating and what I'm choosing in a little bit different way. And so just by asking that question, I've been asking it now for the last four days, I think, whenever I posted that post, um, the last three or four days, I've been asking it. And it's been really fun to see how it transforms how I look at my life. Because now as I'm walking through the world, I'm also looking for additional things that I can add to this now growing list of if I, was, if I had you know, more money than, what I, than I knew what to do with, what would I gift myself? to create that change, that difference, and that delight. Now, why would I ask that? It's not about creating hopes and dreams for the future or you know, creating this la-la land of um, what we wish for one day. What it's doing is actually changing the way I look at what's possible. And then beginning to now, when I see what it is that creates that delight and that joy, really beginning now going, ah, so what is it going to take, what does it take for me to go ahead and begin creating this now right away? How much of this can I choose now? I've just chosen not to previously. And how much do I actually, um, how much can I change to create this as a reality beginning now? So it's not just about creating um, and an ideal future. This is about changing the energy you're functioning from, or in this case, me changing the energy that I'm functioning from and beginning to create a life for the, the joy of it and asking how to create more of that in the world. So I know some people had seen that post and basically turned it back into the, if you won the lottery, what would you do? And I meant it a little different than that. Instead of it being about, if you won the lottery, what would you do? I meant it as a question that would allow you to actually shift um, your perspective on how you treat you and what would delight you and how, um, how we really can begin to create a different life for ourselves just by flipping our perspective on things. So thanks for being with me. See you guys soon.